So the aquaponic system has been running for about a week and a half now or so. Uh, got everything pretty well stabilized. pH is leveled out. Ammonia levels are good. Beneficial bacteria seems to be kicking in. We did have a little bit of an algae problem. Still got some green in there, but a little bit of algae is to be expected, I suppose. Just shows you that everything is actually growing. Put a couple of uh, bush beans in there just a couple days ago. These were the runts, they were in rough shape when I put them in. Some red cabbage. Some peppery beans. Some strawberries. These were just shoots off of our strawberry plants that were planted in the ground. We just put those in a couple days ago and as you see they're already starting to take root and do their thing. Too hot for the lettuce still. The lettuce isn't doing too good. It looks like the end dye thinks it's a little too hot too. The fish all inside here. Got a couple of koi. There's four koi I think are inside there. We got about uh, 35 or so goldfish, feeder fish. I did add uh, an air pump, 300 gallon air pump. Whisper 300. Just keeping the box over here. Seems to do very well. Didn't need a heck of a lot of air. Probably don't even need necessarily the air pump, but I figured add a little bit of oxygen to it. Can't hurt. This tank we still have empty at the moment, but we're planning on getting uh, some tilapia to drop in there, some fingerlings. Right now I've just thrown some pieces of styrofoam in this tank. This is the sump tank, like the sump pump. These pieces of styrofoam in here really more or less in here just to uh, cut down on the amount of sunlight that gets to the bottom to help stop the algae bloom. Uh, this is the drain line that comes from the blue barrels which I put inside the, uh, not blue barrels actually, they're white, but I put them inside the garden center here. Now these I actually just set up two days ago. And just added this line. What happens is the, the water comes in from the big tank right there. She has a shutoff valve on it, which I uh, have only partly open right now to change the amount of water that's actually coming in. The water comes in through this barrel, goes through all these spinach, which I just put in here uh, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember exactly. And these red cabbage. These were all uh, sprouts that I got and rinsed off all the rinsed off all their roots and embedded them in there. Water flows from this tank over into this tank where I have some. These are bare root strawberry plants. Now these lettuce here. They were outside in the other tank yesterday, and that's why they're looking kind of rough, because the other tank doesn't get any shade. So uh, they got a little bit beat up with the sun. I'm hoping that by putting them in here, uh, it might be cool enough and there might be a little bit enough shade from the sun, because I got the shade cloth on here. The shade cloth goes all the way around, which should help them. And we'll see what they uh, see how they do. But as you see, I just put these in. I don't know if you can tell. But those are uh, those are fresh new leaves already popping. After just being in here for heck, not a lot more than 24 hours. And I got that on a couple different plants already. And that one too. Got another lettuce over there. Little cauliflower, some 
kale. This is just starting to sprout. And now after the water gets done in here, it flows out through this line. This line goes down. Runs underneath. Goes out over there. And then eventually goes back over to the sump tank where it all gets pumped back up. I checked and measured, and even when I turn the pump off, the amount of water that fully goes back and returns into the sump, the sump is still plenty big enough. So we're in good shape there. I could probably even add another barrel. Could add another barrel over to this side over here eventually when, uh, when these plants all completely stop producing. So we got some strawberries and some beans. Another bean. Then we got some uh, peppers. There's a pepper there. And of course some basil. I leave the flowers on that basil because there's these cool little birds that like to come and they land on the deer netting and they pluck at the flowers from outside. So I leave the flowers on it. We got other basil plants that we don't have the flowers on it. And of course my Thai peppers. But that's the update for now. We'll uh, we'll do further updates when everything starts to grow. I'll do a little time lapse deal. Thanks for watching.